electric, electric, you're so electric, 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 electric. install the front wheel guards. They are located in your trunk box. You're also going to need from the hardware two short screws to install these to the front wheel, front forks. Now, one is left and one is right. Now you already have one screw here. Um, I have found in the past sometimes it doesn't like to screw in while you're trying to install it, so I always screw it in first just to make sure that it's nice and easily guided in. So once I've done that, I'll take the screw that was located on the frame, I'll put it through the center of the guard, line it up with the original hole it came in, give it a couple of turns, you don't have to tighten it all the way because you still have to take one of your short ones found in your in your hardware bag and line it up. On your front fork, you do have two holes that are welded on there to support these. So you feed it through the top hole, line it up, have a little bit of difficulty lining it up, just jiggle it around, it will find its way into the hole. There we go. And then you can grab your screwdriver. Difficulty lining up. Sometimes if it doesn't sit right on the hole, you can see that this is at an angle outwards. Now what I have found in the past is you just apply your thumb, your, your palm of your hand to it just to push it into the frame a bit more so it will sit directly on the frame. Since both screws are already in, you can tighten it as much as it can go. Both screws are in tight. At this point, I do grab it from the shock, use the palm of my hand again, push it right in so that it doesn't stick out. Now it's perfect. Now that's the left. Then you do the same thing with the other side, or this is the right, you do the same thing with the left side, and then your, uh, your front wheel guards are installed. Now one thing I do for all of my customers here in Winnipeg, Manitoba is I uh, provide a uh, sticker, a decal, to inform other vehicleists of maximum 32 kilometers and that this is an electric scooter. Um, this has saved many, many of my customers a lot of grief and hassle from police officers and other vehicleists. This is a full-size scooter, so without any labeling such as this, most people will think it is a gas scooter and they will get mad at you because you are not going top speed, not the speed they are. So this informs everybody that is behind you of electric scooters and of maximum 32 kilometers. Now most dealers do not have these as of yet and there has not been an official electric scooter decal that we've come out with in the industry. So if Anybody is interested in having some of these, feel free to refer to my website, mikespikescanada.com. It is available off of my website. But this is, in all honesty, a very, very important feature to have with the electric scooter. It gives everybody no reason to not know what you are operating. And that is the license decal. Electric, 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 you're so electric. Electric, electric, electric.